Hello, grade one boys and girls, and welcome back to the lesson. This is the weekly video that is going to explain the concepts and the lessons that we are going to study in the first week. <clears throat> so this video is going to explain lesson 1.1 in our math book, which is about addition, and it is called add to. So you need to refer to this video whenever you want to review addition skills. We all know that when I say add, I mean that I am putting things together or I am putting numbers together. So if I can see on the, in the picture on the left, if I have five, five blue cubes and my friend gave me two, this means that I will put them together. I will add them together, right? I will put them together means that I put things together. But I will add them together means that I will add numbers together. And for writing an addition sentence, I will use the plus sign that we can see it highlighted in yellow. So the word add means plus sign that I can see in the picture. To add numbers together, I need to count. So if I have five, then my friend gave me two, then I, then I need to put five in my mind, then count two more. So five, six, seven. Excellent. Look at the picture at the right of the screen. We can write the sum of 5 and 2. This means that we, can, we are adding 5 to 2. And we are finding the total number of cubes that I will have after I add 5 and 2. And this will equal 7 as I explained before. So the sign equals means that I am finding the sum of 5 and 2. Let's apply what we just learned in these two examples. There were 5 cats and then let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Excellent. And then 2 cats just, just joined them. So how many cats do I have in all? Mm hmm Mm -hmm. What do you think? I guess that you could count all of the cats together. Right, bravo. So I have five and two, which means five, six, seven. Excellent. I have, five, I have seven cats in all now. Let's look at the birds. I have two birds. One green and one orange. And how many birds came and joined them? Oh, a lot of birds came. We have six other birds joining them. So, we had two before and then we need to add six. Excellent. Which means that I need to write an addition sentence that says two plus six equals Eight. Excellent. Good job. So this way we learned how to add things together and this is automatically this automatically means that we learned how we add numbers together. How do we create an addition senten sentence? We need to look at the number of the items that we have and write it down like if we look at the bugs there at the beginning I had three bugs so I need to write three and how many bugs joined them six bugs right so I need to write three plus six equals let me count mm, three in my mind then four five six Seven, eight, nine. Excellent. I have nine bugs in all. 
let's look at the bees we had four bees before and then we added four other bees so how many bees do I have now? 4 plus 4 equals what? I can't hear you. Again. Did you say 9? Mm -hmm. Did you say 10? Did you say 6? What is your answer? No, no, no. no. You did not say 9 or 8 or 10. I know that you know that 4 plus 4 more equals 8. And we can count all the bees together and find out that there are eight bees. Now this way we could learn about addition and we applied some examples of adding things together, adding numbers together and writing addition sentences. At the end of my video, I want to say that you were excellent today. I love you all and thank you so much.